You are looking live at Sky 5 where traffic is still shut down on Highway 64 East in Rocky Mount. Cleanup still very much underway after a truck carrying explosives flipped over and slid off the road this morning. Thank you for joining us. I'm Deborah Morgan. And I'm Gerald Owens. This is the section of Highway 64 we're talking about. Just across the county line in the Edgecombe County part of Rocky Mount. You can see it right there on Atlantic Avenue. Still closed. That's where we find WRL's Keenan Willard this afternoon. He is live near the cleanup effort in Keenan. This has been going on for several hours now. How much progress have they made? Well, Gerald, this is actually the closest we've been able to get actually on the ground today to where this accident happened. You can see behind me, that's the truck that crashed this morning, starting all of this. And if you take a look here, you can see just how much resources and manpower is going into this retrieval effort. It still has a long way to go there. Take a look. That's the truck still flipped on its side. They're using heavy machinery and backhoes to try and dig out the area around it. It's already appearing to be hooked up to a tow truck, but it still has a ways to go <clears throat> before it can be dug out and dragged away and 64 East can be reopened. Not good. I mean, because you don't know, never know what might happen. It's dangerous. Shirley Joyner was working at JD's Grocery and Grill on Atlantic Avenue around 930 this morning. That's when the fire department told the business they'd have to evacuate immediately. This is why. An 18-wheeler flipped on its side on US 64, spilling diesel fuel from its tank. Sources on the ground tell WRL this truck was carrying explosives to a rock quarry when it slid off the road. So in combination with uh, the police department here in Rocky Mount, we shut down Highway 64 and the surrounding area. We had an evacuation zone of a half a mile radius within that site. Police cited the truck's driver, Jeremy Cruz, for exceeding a safe speed. Fire officials say the SBI and hazmat crews arrived at the wreck by noon to oversee cleanup. Some of those evacuated say it was frustrating but necessary. I mean, I won't, uh, I won't have to about it because I was working trying to make some money, you know, but you got to keep yourself safe because you don't never know. Definitely a concerning situation for some people living nearby within that radius of evacuation. Now, at this point, we don't have an updated ETA on when this will be removed from NCDOT. We're going to stay here on the scene, try to get updates on when 64 East could be reopened, and any information we do get will be brought both on air and online. Gerald. A very delicate cleanup operation there indeed. Keenan Willard live in Rocky Mount. Thank you, Keenan.